In this video, we'll talk about the graphical user interface, which is known to most of you as the GUI. So for the previous Java applications we have been working with, we've been utilizing text-based interface, which is some display that appears in the console right here, or if you're using command prompt, it is what appears on the console as well. For today's video, we want to accomplish some kind of a windowed application that looks similar to the applications that we are used to. So similar, something that's similar to this IDE. So uh, let's start with a basic example. What I want to implement is this window containing a button. When I click the button, then it says hi from the app or any um, message that's displayed in here. Now this window contains multiple components and to be able to implement this we need to know what the components are. So let's first talk about those components. So in that window I had what I call a frame. So the whole thing is what we call a frame and this is my window. So basically this is my frame right here which is the outer thing. Now inside my frame I have what I call a panel that is containing all of my other elements. So this is going to be a panel. And then within that panel I added my elements. So as you've seen before that I have somewhere in like down here I had a button and then what I'm displaying is I'm using what we call a label. So I will need all of those components. So this is a button. Okay. And this one is a label. So let me just point to this and we'll say this is my label. So I need to implement all of those and then I need to add some uh, functionality in which tell, that tells me whenever I click this button I need to call in some piece of code which is basically going to represent what I see on my label. Now you recall that we uh, talked about window builder for Eclipse which is something that's going to make our life much much easier. So um, before starting with Window Builder, let's see how we can create a simple application assuming that we don't have Window Builder. What I will do here is I will come here and I will create a new class and let me call this Hello World, but this time it's graphical user interface hello world application now uh, when I create it at the beginning it's gonna look pretty similar to what we had in terms of hello world application and uh, one of the errors that you might find yourself uh, encountering is with window builder when you start with an empty class so how to use window builder is we just right click and we will say open with window builder editor but uh, sometimes when you go to the design you'll get this error which is telling you that uh, it cannot be edited this is an easy to fix error and we'll see how to fix that so first of all I will need to inherit a JFrame class so I'll say this is extending J frame and to extend J frame I will need to um, import that class so command shift O to import so I'm importing uh, Java X dot swing dot J frame we can just say dot star because we will use other um, things from that J frame class what I will start first uh, with is I will define a button, I'll define a label, I'll define my class variable. So I will start with saying J button. Let me call it button. 
and uh, I will need a frame so J frame let me call it frame and I will need a label to print on and that is called J label and that is I'm gonna call this label I will follow this finally by J panel and I'll call this panel so these are the things that I will have in my app as we agreed on. We have a button, we have a frame, we have a label, and we have a panel. Now I need a constructor for my class. So uh, I will just copy the name here. I'm kind of being lazy. So public and hello world uh, GUI. And in here I will define all of my elements. So my frame is going to be new J frame and um, I will have some kind of a size for the frame and we'll see later on how we can finish or edit this from our uh, window builder and I think this right now should be able to we should be able to open it with window builder not yet, we'll need to add some more functionality in here. But we'll work with this right now uh, as if we don't have Window Builder. But I think I'm missing one of the components of Window Builder as well. So I'll add it later on. So uh, I have my frame, I'll set the size for my frame. So frame dot set size and I will provide it with the width and height so I'll say 500 by 500 for example and then uh, I will create my label so label is equal to new J label I left it empty in that example so I'll leave this empty we can add any text here and it's going to show on that label I need to create my panel and button as well so uh, panel is going to be a new J panel and finally my button is going to be a new J button and I will have some text here displayed on my button. Saying, um, say hello, for example. Now what I need to do is I need to add those components into my UI. So what I will do is I will say, okay, I will first add those uh, lab the label and the button to the panel and then I'll add the panel to the frame so what I will do is I will say uh, panel dot add and then my component here is going to be the label and I will do the same for my button so panel dot add my button here And finally, what I need to do is I need to add the panel to the frame. So, frame dot add the panel itself. Now, if I run it like this, it's not going to work for two things. First of all, I didn't create an object of this class, and the second thing is the frame is not visible. So, uh, to create an object of this class, it's pretty straightforward. What I will do is I will just say uh, hello world GUI H is equal to new hello world GUI and I created the object but then to make sure that I'll see my frame I will have to do this tip so frame dot set visible and I will provide true here so this is going to make my frame visible now if I run this I just got this say hello now if I click it it doesn't do anything and I, I don't have anything displayed in here 
and this is going to be what we will discuss in the next video.